Vintage Moto friends, we're back. Picking up where we left off last week, which was with this 1966 Triumph Mountain Cub and this awesome Bass Brothers skid plate that survived the test of time. Uh, we're making it work with this bike. Now, when I first saw this, I thought it would work perfectly and just slide right on, but it turns out that's not quite the case. We've got some modifications to do here. These holes don't quite match up with the strap that goes around the frame tube here. And then these rear uh, hooks are not quite in the right place. They both need to move forward and this one needs to move over a bit in order to match the stock one. So we're basically going to use this as a template to modify this. And that begins with cutting these off. Then we'll test fit it again. We're likely going to need to cut off these uh, tabs here that previously held the center stand for the bike. I'm okay with that. And then we'll see where these really need to go and see if we'll get this thing to slide right on there. Take some abuse, protect this nice motor because I've already actually, I noticed the other day, I've already scraped this thing on a rock or two. So be nice to get some solid protection on there. All right, let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna do my best here to just slice right along these nice welds here so we can free these tabs up but not lose too much material. And of course, we'll be using the handy dandy angle grinder with a cutoff wheel and we've got all our ear protection eye protection, face protection, and hand protection. Thanks for the gloves, Nana. One, plenty of material left there. Same thing here. So that's good. We'll go ahead and do the other one now. All right, now that we've got both off, I'll go ahead and clean up the surface with a flap disc. That's looking good. Definitely good enough for the next step, which is another test fit. We'll probably have to clear up a little bit more once we know exactly where those tabs are gonna go. But let's go ahead and bring it over and see how it's fitting out. Okay, I'm obscured. How's it looking? Man, that's nice. Really hugs the motor well. So let's talk about these tabs here. Uh, Jason, AKA Edward Turner Lives, check out his channel. He sent me a note with a great idea to keep these and uh, weld some tabs on here that would allow me to put a bolt through, keep those, have a nice air gap in here and, and mount it in that way. And that is a great idea. My problem is I could get probably at least another inch, probably an inch and a half of clearance right there if I cut those off and then use the hook method like the stock one does. As much as I try to avoid modifying, you know, vintage frames, uh, this bike is a keeper for me. It's not a show queen by any means. It already has some modifications. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut those off so we get the most clearance. And uh, yeah, hopefully I don't regret it, but great idea, Jason. Good. It's 
gonna provide so much more protection for this motor. Right now it's looking like I might need to bend the back up a little bit to, to match the arc of the frame. Yeah, probably about an inch or so. Okay, so after banging on it, uh, I was able to get it to bend a little bit, but this section right here is not allowing this to bend up. I just need it to go up. It's not even that much, like a half inch. But uh, so I could I could slice it on the seam here, bend this up and re-weld it. But I think what I'm gonna do instead is just slice a little section out right here. So in other words, bring this down till it's flat to the bottom and then that'll allow me to bend it up right there with no resistance. And it's not gonna matter if I take that section out. So more modification, it's all good. Okay, so that should give me the leeway that I need and it actually now matches the other side so I don't feel bad about cutting that section out. Cool, awesome. Yeah. That thing punches a little hole so you know where to drill. You're standing right in front of the camera, Bubba. Okay, I finally got this thing bent the way I want. I've got the front hook uh, or hoop drilled and that's mounted. And I'm really happy with where this ended up. It matches the curve of the frame. It butts up nicely to my cuts and the hooks are ready to go in. So I've got the surface all cleaned up with the flap disc. I'm gonna take these hooks, place them where I want them, the top above the frame and the bottom resting on the skid plate. I'm gonna to try to sneak the welder in there, tack it in place. So, we've got these tacked in place, 
just by the look of it, I can tell it's very similar to the old one. So I'm pleased with that. I'm going to go ahead and weld the weld these in. Then we'll slide it back on for good. Woo! slid on nicely. Very good. Look at that. It's holding itself in place while I mess with this strap. Oh yeah. How about a washer? Lock washer. And that. Alright. Oh boy. I think it's going to work. Not even tight yet. Look at that. Oh man, I'm very pleased. Very pleased. That was a lot of work. <laughs> In the end, hell, I'm not really sure if this was made for a cub or not. But I'll tell you one thing, it is now. Well, I thought I was done, but I forgot about the shift lever, which can no longer be in its old position, which it's all right. It wasn't a good position anyway. It was bent to hell. So we'll save that for another video. Uh, the next time you'll see me, we're going to load this bad boy up. We're going to take it to the high country, do some shredding, put this skid plate to good use, and have a jolly old time. But for now, I'm gassed out. Time to celebrate. Cheers, everybody. See you next week.